hello hello hi guys so today I'm going to do another quick video well I'm trying to make it quick um, because it's really three products but for one purpose and that is to soak your feet so I have three different ones they all have different fragrances um, and it's all based on your liking or preference so the first one I want to talk about is the lavender and mint sea salt foot soak and it comes in a small and a large size then I have the pink Himalayan sea salt as a different sea salt so it's two types of sea salt one small one large and the third one is the most recent one that I made I love this one a little extra um, this one you see how it matching my clothes? <laughs> this one has, let me show you the greens. So you see how big the greens are? The actual pink Himalayan sea salt, the coarse size. So this one has rose petals, it has lavender buds, and the fragrance, what differentiates them is the type of salt that I use and the fragrances. So like the first one, lavender and mint, and that one just has sea salt, and this one is pink Himalayan salt, but this one has lavender, um, essential oil, and rose oil. And then this one, this one has, uh, Eucalyptus essential oil and lemongrass essential oil. Oh my god. I'm putting it as a poly, I can smell it. But if you could. Yeah, so it is very relaxing. Um, they all have Epsom salt, they all have um, baking soda in them. And like I said, the difference is really the type of salt that I use and the fragrances. Now, foot soaks are beneficial in pedicures, of course, because it helps relax the muscles, especially the pink Himalayan salt. Um, they relax the muscle, they help reduce cramps in your muscle for those of us who stand up a lot on our feet, like hairdressers and um, probably cashiers who stand a lot, tellers who stand a lot at counters, um, using a foot soak. Um, is really beneficial because it relaxes your, your feet, it um, helps reduce the colors build up on your feet, it softens the colors so that it's able to remove a lot easier when you're doing your pedicures. Um, so, and like if you just had a really long, long day or long week and you just really want to treat your feet, it, it literally carries all the weight of our body so if you're very tiny or a little slim thick or even thicker just know that your feet is carrying all of that weight doing all of the things that you would have it to do so sometimes it really pays to treat our feet and to just soak it and just soak away all of that tension in the muscle because in the sole of our feet there are muscles in our feet that need relaxing that need um, to just mellow out and not do anything so using a foot soak is really beneficial at that point um, it also helps like for those who have trouble sleeping if you do a foot soak with like lavender and mint before you sleep it really helps relax because um, like everywhere else in your body there are pores in your feet so if you soak your feet in warm water and then you put in a foot soak whichever one um, you choose like I said if you have trouble sleeping and you put in the one with lavender and um, mint in it and you just soak your feet in the warm water it helps because it penetrates the pores of your feet and it, get, it just mellows mellows you just doing a foot soak mellows you never mind having the benefits of the essential oils in it um, the lemongrass and eucalyptus as well also is very relaxing the um, pink Himalayan the one with lavender and rose also has lavender in it and the aim for using these essential oils is to really relax the feet um, Epsom salt it, it replenishes lost magnesium in the body um, the the sea salt like I said it's beneficial in terms of um, reduce like if you have odor in your feet it eliminates the odor from your feet so the pink himalayan salt the regular sea salt they all it's all sea salt but they're different so like the regular sea salt it's white the pink himalayan salt the fine one is fine like this 
and then the course you want as course is a lot green you see in that it's a lot greenier hundred percent natural yes so I ensure that the ingredients are natural yes even though it's just your feet I um, use I look for the ingredients that will afford me the ability to use all natural to say that my products are all natural so yes soak your feet replenish your feet ensure that you take care of your feet like I said it, it carries you everywhere and there's nothing like just feeling renewed and refreshed and rejuvenated and um, pairing it with essential oils really helps with that so that's it guys for this week's edition this day's edition of product highlights again today we did foot soaks um, like I said there are three there's the rejuvenating pink chameleon sea salt foot soak that's the one with the bigger the coarse grains um, the one with eucalyptus and lemongrass there's the lavender and mint this is the one with the regular sea salt the white one and then the fine pink chameleon sea salt is this one and that one has lavender and rose um, as the fragrance so they're all beneficial they're all relaxing um so yeah you have options you have sizes and they all come in token sizes i'll do another video um on the token sizes for those of you um planning your wedding and want to have a non-conventional token um to use as your wedding to give out to your your guests or to give out to your wedding party with they come in token sizes and i'll probably do another video um just showcasing what they look like in the token sizes so until next time have a good week have a good weekend whatever day this video actually falls on enjoy it um remember that mental health is important and your spiritual health is important your physical health, health is important um so do the things that make you the best you self-care is not selfish um soaking your feet is not selfish um and it's it's all part of the whole self-care um regime that you could do at home if you're not able to afford to go to the um salon every time or go to the spa every time you have options i've made them available so order subscribe message a friend share with a friend like just leave a comment whichever you choose to do until next time have a blessed blessed day and have a great week